By the time you have reached this stage, your design will have been improved and the implementation of your module will have undergone significant review and you will have made many, many improvements to your course. You may have been working at this course for several weeks and may have been thinking about this process for much longer. So you are very, very close to the design and the implementation and may not be able to see the problems that will limit your user's experience. To catch these issues, you need other people to actually go through your course and at a minimum, go through your overview section and do some sort of a short activity from your first module. It could be argued that it is better to run some sort of form of usability testing than none at all. Similarly, the earlier you identify problems, the easier they are to fix. Next to going live with your course, usability testing may be one of the most important milestones in the development process. The stakeholder, usability testing, is an authentic learning opportunity that will require you to move beyond talking about how you plan to pilot your online module to how well will your course actually function. If you had the time, the resources, and access, you would want to test your course with a group of students and observe them going through the usability test. I've had the opportunity to conduct several of these 30 to 45 minute usability tests and found that these testing sessions can yield amazing results. While this is the gold standard in usability testing, you more than likely will not be able to do this. Your next best option is to engage your colleagues from your curriculum committee or from your program. You will want to have your colleagues or your peers navigate through the introduction overview section of your course, navigate to and engage in a short activity from the first module. Ideally, your testers will also need to use a screen capture tool like Altera, Screencast-O-Matic, Camtasia, etc. to record and share their experience with you. Depending on your circumstances, having your program colleagues do the usability testing may not be possible, so you may need to consider other options. You'll want to pick one of the following options. Option 1, stakeholder usability testing. Option 2, peer usability testing. Or option 3, instructor usability testing. We want you all to be successful in the online course design process. So if you are not currently working in an instructional setting and don't have program peers or for some reason are not able to arrange peer usability testing, having your instructor do the usability testing is a good at minimum option. The feedback you will gain through this usability testing will enable you to revise what you have already built and give you confidence in building out the remaining course modules. This will bring you one step closer to facilitating learning online.